All right, guys, so last night with the Global and JP update, both versions uh, got an update last night, we saw that Global is actually going to be getting the Family Kamehameha Extreme Z Awakening event uh, tonight, actually. So uh, all, all of a sudden, they just dropped this on us. Uh, this will be good for Global uh, to be able to get these units powered up, ready for the 250 million download celebration. Uh, now, going through the event... Uh, this, I would say, is probably easily the easiest EZA that's around. Uh, in When I was going through this event on JP, uh, I was actually able to get to, I want to say like stage 140 or something like that. It's very easy to do because the units that are strong against this event like are like tailor made for survivability and something like this which we'll we'll go over in a second. So, total rewards, you're going to be getting 4 grand elder kai's of the AGL type, 7 of the SCR type, 30 stones, and then a good amount of orbs for uh both SCR and AGL. I do want to mention, however, the AGL grand kai's and those AGL orbs. Remember, uh, there is a summonable AGL Goku Dokkan Fest coming very soon, maybe in about a week's time. So if you are a global player, you do beat this event. Maybe it would be more beneficial if you don't have the AGL orbs to save those for that uh, said Super Saiyan Goku TUR. But then again, there haven't really been that many AGL units uh, coming out nowadays. So I'm sure a lot of people do have plenty of AGL orbs uh, saved up. Now, it is pretty easy going through this event. Uh, Goten is the first 10 levels, Gohan's the next 10, and then you also have Goku for the last 10. Uh, the movie boss category is what uh, is strong against this event. So, at the very start, uh, Goten is an STR unit, so you're going to want to mainly use you know, your AGL uh, hard hitters, which is perfect. So, let's transition over to like the two stars of this. Now, number one, you have Turles, right? So, if you have Turles, if you were able to pull Turles, you will easily just destroy this event with little effort. A double Turles team absolutely annihilates this easy A. And, you know, there's a couple of, e like, I don't want to say easy to obtain. Well, yes, I do. Tech Golden Frieza is a pretty easy to obtain, like, Dokkan Fest. If you're a player with, like, you know, a year plus in this game... Chances are you've pulled Tech Golden Frieza. There was a span, I know particularly on Global, where this guy was on several banners in a row. Uh, his abilities are very good for this EZA, being able to block. There also is a summonable Golden Frieza, who is perfect for this event, uh, who reduces damage by 90%. He's fantastic. So both of them are really good. Another really, really strong card... Uh, this is one a lot of people might be able to have, is the Great Ape Turles. Uh, if you have him awakened, he's pretty powerful, and he gives himself 3 key. So you only have to hit 9 key for him to super. He's able to take millions of damage off of Goten and Goku, as is just the summonable LR uh, leader Turles. Even though he is mainly a support type unit, uh, he's able to do good damage. And if he transforms in this EZA... These are the type of events where Turles' transformation is actually pretty good, like Super Battle Road or here in the EZA. Like, the 130% defense he gets will allow him to tank very well, as well as the HP recovery, since obviously in an EZA event you can't use any items. So that'll be very, very helpful. But, the main unit that I think is going to carry a lot of people through this EZA is actually Tapion right here. Now, what I saw a lot of people do on JP that I think would work really well on Global as well is you could just straight up run a giant category team and then just sort of rely on Tapion to handle all of the work for you. Because uh, once your health falls below 50%, Harutagarn absolutely obliterates this event. He hits so hard. Now looking at it, other movie boss category units in here, so, obviously, you'd still want to run the Great Ape Turles if possible. He would be very good here. Uh, Physical Lord Slug is the best giant category unit, but he, of course, is not yet released on Global. So, you're not going to be able to count him. Uh, looking at it, there's actually some new Great Apes here that aren't actually uh, released even on JP yet. So, in terms of Movie Boss category units, so that's just it, right? The Great Ape Turles and the Tapion. But still, this event is easy enough that just those two can get it done. And again, you could just toss on, like the, here, let me get rid of some of these. Uh, you could just toss on 
one of those golden freezes, and that will help you out a lot. But, see, what, yeah, okay, so you can't even run the movie boss category without actually having Turles. That is a shame. That's why I do wish they would, like, circle back around to some of these categories. Movie boss is one. I'm sure we'll probably get a, a easy, like, a Broly from the Dragon Ball Super movie who will have a movie boss category leader. Uh, we do need a second realm of gods leader. Like, I wish they would kind of give some lead secondary leaders to some of these categories so people could more easily run them. Uh, if we head back over here, looking at the a whole list of units that could help you here. Like, again, you have quite a few LRs. Bojack is able to tank very nicely if you have him. I think even uh, just like 55% in the dupe system, he should be able to defend against most of the damage that you're actually going to take in this event. It, it is very easy. Like, I don't really think I need to give too much more advice in terms of what units would be good here. Because, like, Great Ape Turles, Turles, Tapion, and then, like, AGL Golden Frieza, those are kind of, like, the units you want to use that can really handle their business well, right? So, those are the main units that you're going to want to focus on. Now, in terms of actually looking at the units themselves... Uh, all three of them are quite good. Uh, this Goku right here is uh, pretty nice in the Buu Saga category team, or even the Pure Saiyan team, because he does give himself key, which is nice because he doesn't actually have prepare for battle. I would say that's kind of the worst thing about these units, is they don't have prepare for battle. If you just gave them that, they would be a lot better. Like, look at that. Like, he has six links. Like, if only... When they EZA these guys, and then also the SCR Broly, the EZA Broly, they should have given him prepare for battle as well. Uh, it would have made those units a lot more viable. But this Goku giving himself three key will help out a lot, especially in the Majin Buu Saga team, which I've said many times uh, actually has a lot of key issues, although now the LR uh, Great Saiyan 1 and 2 are actually going to be added on there. Uh, they give four keys, so that will be very helpful for the Majin Buu category team. And then Pure Saiyan, he'll work well. Uh, the only thing is, there is the new Dokkan Fest Super Saiyan Goku coming soon. And he does start out as a Super Saiyan Goku. So he will basically, you know, you're not going to be able to run both of these guys in the Pure Saiyan team at the same time. Still, he this guy is pretty good. Uh, looking at the Gohan, like the Gohan, the 90%... And 40% defense when performing a super attack. So 90% attack, 40% defense. He is going to hit really hard. And he's able to defend pretty good. If you don't have a lot of good AGL units, this guy is going to be a monster. Uh, he's he's okay on the hybrid Saiyan team. I guess one very helpful thing about the hybrid Saiyan team is there are a couple of Shattering Limit LRs. You have LR Trunks and Goten, LR Trunks. And does the free-to-play LR Trunks have Shattering Limit? He does. Okay. He's not yet out on global. Uh, he's probably not too far away, though, on global. But you'd have this guy with Shattering Limit, this guy with Shattering Limit, and this guy with Shattering Limit. So you could almost sort of run like a full Shattering Limit hybrid Saiyan team and then also have that EGL Super Saiyan Gohan. That would work pretty well. Uh, the hybrid Saiyan team, there's really been a lot of options added to it within the last couple months, which I think are fleshing this team out quite a bit. It does definitely need a new leader as well, though. Some of these teams, uh, like, really need multiple leaders. Like, I, I'm circling back to this point already in this video again, because, like, Ultimate Gohan just doesn't work well with so many of these cards. Uh, all right, and then we move on to Goten. Personally, I, I feel as though Goten is the, the most usable of the trio. Like, if we were just to say in a vacuum which of the three units is best, it's probably the Gohan. But the Goten is the unit you're going to get the most usability out of. I, I would say, you know, pretty much with certainty here. Uh, because Orb Changers are always very helpful. On both the Hybrid Saiyan team and the Buark team, this guy will help create a lot of key for a lot more powerful units that will be on both of those category teams. And this Goten does have 70% attack and defense. So... He's able to defend really well, and he's able to hit uh, decently hard as well. He's not really able to hit a 1 million attack set, but I believe he is frequently around 900k. So that's good enough combined with his uh, orb changing and his defense. In particular, I found this guy it was very helpful on both the hybrid Saiyan category Super Battle World stage 
as well as some Majin Buu arc uh, category Super Battle World stage. So, the Family Kamehameha Trio, they were previously not, like, really that good. They were very annoying units if you'd pull them, but now, they're actually quite good. Uh, like, I actually went ahead and rainbowed all three on my account, and, like, you know, if you end up pulling these guys in that, you know, sort of uh, uh, GSSR spot, this is a good pull. These are some of the best unfeatured SSRs you guys can now pull on Global now that they actually do have their EZA. So, there we go. Uh, I believe this does go live tonight. Uh, happy grinding, everyone, and we are getting oh so close to the 250 million download celebration. So damn close. I can't wait. Thanks for watching, y'all, and I'll catch y'all next time.